Abby's tired of Curtis's gal pal. Stacy this, Stacy that, Stacy this, Stacy that. But her blind date was sweet on her. So I got some fresh pineapple, rubbed it all over her body, and then licked it off. Meanwhile, Curtis's date didn't go for that fruity stuff. I don't need lap dances and pineapples to impress my guy. And she's fine with his friends. I think it's perfectly normal and healthy to have a... I'm not in the situation, so shut up. After Curtis's buddy butts in. I think Kathy needs to, like, find a new man. Will they have a change of heart? Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Let's meet today's very cute couple. She's a singer and he's a student. And guess what? They met through friends and their first big date was his prom. Yeah, very sweet. They spent that night dancing and romancing, and he, she has spent now the past five months crooning love songs to her man. So please welcome Kathy Montgomery and Curtis Young. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Kathy, I want to start with you. Tell me what the best thing about your relationship with Curtis is. Well, I think our communication is really good. We never argue. We, when we have a problem, we sit down and we talk it out, and it's done. And it's Over. good like that. Yeah. Now, Curtis, would you agree to that? Because a lot of people would be shrugging their shoulders saying they never argue. No, she's the princess of a pissed off. She's always <laughs> yelling at me. She's See, now, now suddenly we get another Wait, that now story. That, that's because you never do anything okay, okay. right. We were, hold on. This morning, hold this on. morning, this morning, this we were morning. coming out of the car. She's yelling at me right before I even Because the car. you know what? I rolled down the window. I said, come over here. I haven't seen you in a week. I haven't I said, come you. over here. You said no. I couldn't hear. Come over I couldn't here. hear. Now, Curtis, all right. Curtis, if she gets upset a lot of times, what is it that you can do to actually smooth things over and make her happy? Take her to the bedroom. <laughs> Now, the only time she's quiet, leave, the only time she's leave, quiet is either when we're in the bedroom or when she's sleeping. Otherwise, she's constantly arguing with me. And yelling at me. <laughs> okay, okay. Kathy, he says the only place he can make you happy is in bed. So, for us, describe his lovemaking skills. He is a wham, bam, thank you. It's just, it's just kiss, kiss, and then kiss, kiss, and then okay, let's do it. I only get four. Oh, kiss, kiss, I, only, I only get four kiss, plays. Kiss, let's do it. Wait a minute. I only what get four plays. Let's go make a quickie. You in a month. Let's go make a quickie. Before we leave. <laughs> what? Did you say that? Now that can be okay sometimes, Curtis. But you got to have a little warm up though, I guess. And then she feels like she's missing that. Oh, Thank we do. You. I mean, I'm sitting on the phone. I'm at home. She's like, come over. I'm okay. I'm gonna come over. You never come you over. You never come over. So we, I don't think a booty call. <laughs> Calls as a warm up. Well, now uh, let's go outside for. the bedroom, Kathy. Uh, what about Curtis? Would would you would would you say he's the ideal boyfriend beyond the bedroom? No, I'm a better boyfriend for myself. I should be dating myself. <laughs> we go out. We go out. When we go out, I have to, we pay 50-50, a 50-50 rule that he made. That I, I just pay started. for myself. I just started. I pay for myself, and he pays for himself. Well, why did you okay. just start a 50-50 rule? I, okay, I used to. I pay for everything. And then one time we were on the phone, and she said. Well, if you're not going to pay for it, why are you here? So ever since then, I've been like, what? 50, 50 She's roll. cheap. She's cheap on a month. I'm cheap? I'm cheap? Okay, you're we cheap. went out to eat. Is that why, is that why right, I just gave on. you $200 for your radio? You Don't me even a, go there. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, Curtis. Kathy, we've got to move to the subject here. Uh, what about, uh, does Curtis have family that gets in the way between your relationship? Yes, he is a big, fat mama's boy. His mama is jealous of our relationship. His mom is jealous? <laughs> Right, he, she home. won't let him. She won't let him stay out past two. She won't let him spend the night. She hardly ever wants him to come over to see me. Whenever I call, she's like, "Who is this?" When she knows damn well who I am. All right, Curtis, let me give you equal time. What subject causes the most friction in your relationship, based on what you see? That'd be my best friend, Stacy. Your best friend, Stacy. Kathy makes me choosy between Stacy or her. Because and she likes I'm not him. Make that choice. She likes him. Wait, hold on a second, because we actually have Stacy backstage. Now, so. Stacy, uh, based on what you just heard, how do you feel? Me and Curtis have been friends for five years. If something would have happened, it would have happened a long time ago. Thank you, Stacy. So it's like, I don't know why you are so jealous. You have no right to be jealous over anything. Well, I think that you just don't need to be uh, inviting my boyfriend to family vacations. You shouldn't is, be spending the he night. Is you shouldn't call it 2 o'clock in the morning. This is your best you, should not, you should not call it 2 right, o'clock we'll in the morning to, in a to second. check in. Uh, we'll get back to her in a second. Kathy, besides Stacy, though, what other reasons do you have for being here today? Well, I just want him to see what kind of a person he needs to be. I want him to be rom more romantic. I need somebody that's going to put me up on a pedestal, and he's not doing that right now. So that's not happening. Uh, Stacy, let me ask you, what would you like to see happen on the show today? 
You know, I think Kathy needs to like find a new man. Curtis has to change her heart. And that's exactly why I think that you like him because that's why I, that comment right there makes me think that you like him. Whoa. I think that she needs to step off. All right, later on, later on, we're gonna see if Stacy's wish comes true. But next, find out why Kathy's date was like a scene from Nine and a Half Weeks. Stay tuned. with Curtis and Kathy. Now, Kathy wanted to date a man who gets an A in romance so that Curtis can actually get an education in how to treat a woman. Whoa. So, let's meet her love scholar. Say hello to Daniel King. Let me start with you. What did you learn about Kathy before you actually dated her? Well, on the phone, I found out that she's a very sexy lady. Um, oh. She likes to wear G-strings. Uh, her measurements, you know, 34, 25, 38. Woo! Bang, Come on, not a know, what? She uh, likes pineapple. And pineapple, mm, too. Loves Pine pineapple. So you found out some pretty specific sexy things. And what were you planning on doing it once you knew what you knew? Well, before I, wherever I go out, I want to know everything about the lady because I want to fulfill every fantasy. You know, I want to get things planned out yeah. like that. And, uh, so uh, I want to make sure I got my stuff right. And uh, it's about a part of being a romantic, something that Curtis doesn't know about. Oh. Kathy, what about the start of the date? Memorable or not? Yeah, um, he sent me a rose, orange, which is my favorite color. So that was really, really sweet the day before. So. So that was the romantic kickoff, Daniel. After right. that, was she really eager to, you know, get to know you and get to you see you? You know what, Chris? She wasn't. And she dissed me from the beginning. We, I had a weekend oh. excursion planned out. We are going to go to San Diego, spend a nice night at a hotel, take her out to dinner down in San Diego, hotel. hot tub. It was all planned out, yo. So, but, so uh, well, but wait, no, <laughs> you have all these things planned and she's dissing you. How does that make you feel? I'm sorry, but dissing people, that's just not part of me. And uh, she wants to do that. That was kind of foul. All right, well, let me go to Curtis on this. Does, this. does this sound like something that Kathy would do under normal circumstances or not? Um, yeah, she's uh, pretty self-centered. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you're not surprised no, no. by You know why? Wait, wait, wait. Because I, can I canceled the date because of you. Hey, you came you. over my house. That day? And that night. And I stayed with you. And I saw, therefore, I was up too late to get up to go with him. So it was Curtis's fault. Now, Kathy, so what about, let's go back to you. Was Daniel, uh, did he let you know he was upset because you totally dissed him? Yeah, he told me that it was pretty, pretty bad. And so I apologized. I gave him flowers. You gave and him flowers? And basically, he said, I never give flowers. You know, I apologize. <laughs> I don't deserve them. So. I apologize. I don't even get thank you. So you're trying to make cool. good. Yeah, he was. Damn. Daniel, things were awfully rough at the beginning here. How did things warm up, yeah, you know? Yeah, they were. And I had to be Mr. Magic Man and create something in L.A. So, uh, you know, first we took her to dinner. Found out a nice romantic dinner over the ocean. Found out a little bit more about her. What turns her on, what makes her uh, beat, heart beat faster, what makes her sweat, you know. And Kathy, did you tell Daniel a few things that maybe turned him on? Yeah, I told him that I had nine piercings. And he asked me if he could see him, and I said, uh, maybe later. Nine! <laughs> She'll show you the piercings, like, right there. Look, I got my nipple pierced. Pop! There it is. <laughs> yeah. So you guys had a nice romantic dinner, Bye some me. interesting conversation, yeah. and afterwards, I understand you went down to the pier to ride the Ferris wheel. Is that right? Yeah. How was that? That was, that was very, very interesting, because I'm afraid of heights. I didn't and know And he... I told you that. And we got, we got on it anyway, and he starts rock. We get stuck in the top. Great. And he starts rocking back and forth and rocking back and forth, and I'm screaming, like and I'm digging things. my nails, and I'm <laughs> holding, I'm pulling. That'd be a little frightening up there. Oh, and Daniel, God. you're up at the top there rocking the Ferris wheel. Anything else that you rocked in her world? Uh. <laughs> Actually, uh, after the Ferris wheel, uh, you know, it was getting kind of cold, so I wanted to warm her up. So uh, I took her to my place, and uh, I wanted to show her that... Uh, I wanted to show her that a real man has his own house, has his own apartment. He doesn't, he doesn't have to ask his mom whether or not he can go out or have friends. All right, so Dan, did you prove that you had your own place and did you leave right away or did you guys hang out? You know what, it was only supposed to be a five minute thing, get my clothes to spend a night at her house, but um, it turned out to be a two hour night? excursion, you know? And before I knew it, Check this out, y'all. Before I knew it, there was Kathy stripping. I'm not stripping, actually dancing for me stripping on the bathroom. Oh. Very good on my ad. Uh, Crawled away to me and gave me a little lap. Uh huh. And Kathy did. <laughs> Kathy, did Daniel return the favor? Boy, boy, did he. I mean, I blanked out part of the time, but all I remember is him being on me with his shirt off and his pants on both. <laughs> 
Are you first blanked dates out? like that? <laughs> I was Bungled like, Bungled lamp dance? Hey, we're I was vibing like, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, Curtis, Curtis yeah. does this kind of surprise you a little bit as to all of what was going on? Uh, kind of. I've heard rumors about Kathy, how she's kind of quick like that. But I, didn't, I didn't believe anything. I didn't want to believe anything like that, so I never took it, took to heart, but. I mean, mm -hmm. sleeping with somebody on the first date? And well, we didn't hear that they slept together. Oh, just he oh, took his shirt off. Oh. Kathy, did anything else come off other than his shirt? <laughs> yeah, he told me. Slow, hard, go ahead and answer. He what told me that uh, he took a class, a massage class, and he asked me if I wanted one, and I said, yeah, okay. And I took my shirt off. So then your shirt came off. And Daniel, what was it that you used to massage her with? Uh, some oil. You know, I didn't want to get her all, you know, too smelly up, so I gave her some unscented oil, you know, do my thing. Unscented massage oil, and what yeah. else? Well, after the massage, I wanted to surprise her and show her um, what a real man's all about. So I put a little blindfold, I put a little blindfold on her because I didn't want to know what was I doing. And uh, I heard she liked pineapple, so I got some fresh pineapple, rubbed it all over her body, and then licked it off. And uh, because I don't, I don't want her uh, to go home wet and sticky, you know. Uh -huh. And Kathy, all of these things, blindfolds and pineapple and all these intimate details, what made you go along with all this? I was just thinking about like, okay, he's gonna be like really ticked off and really jealous. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, I feel like he should be shown how to treat me. You don't treat me that way. Oh, well, I'll show you how I wanna be treated and I'll go out with somebody and lap dance on them. So Daniel, uh, you had the plan, you said earlier that you were gonna go over to Kathy's house and spend the night there. Did you stick to that plan? Actually, um, we changed our minds and uh, we thought it'd be best because things are already getting too hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why did Curtis and his date have a run-in with the cops, of all people? We're going to find out next. Hang on. All right, welcome back. We just heard what happened on Kathy's date with Daniel. Now we're going to meet the lovely lady that Curtis went out with. Now, Kathy says that she might have a little bit of an attitude, but swears that she is the bomb girlfriend and Curtis will never find anyone better. So we sent him out with a woman who wants to make Kathy eat her words. Please welcome Janelle Carrion. Have a seat. Janelle, uh, Kathy feels like she's the bomb girlfriend. Did she come off that way to you? She sound like that? The bomb? Actually. The list goes on. Curtis cannot actually say one positive thing about her. It sounds to me that she's a scrub. She's not independent. Scrub. Excuse me? But what job do you have? Um, I'm a full-time scholarship student. Thank you very much. But thank you, Austin. Thank you. Wait a minute. But thank you. I have, a, I have a record deal, and I'm getting paid for living in my own apartment. And okay, I'm doing I have my car, love, and I have so a driver's license. Okay. okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I am an independent Janelle, woman. Thank all right, you. Janelle, no scrubs. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> that your impression of Curtis was much more flattering than your impression of Kathy. Oh, absolutely. From the moment he walked in and picked me up from my house, he came and showed up with two long stem red roses. I thought he had the most beautiful eye, beautiful smile. He gave me a hug, made me feel really comfortable. I was very pleased. A collared shirt would have been nice, but it's all good. So he was a little bit relaxed. Other than that, it was yeah, a good was, start. Yes. So Curtis, when you first saw Janelle, what, what, what was it that you noticed? First, I saw her natural beauty. Ooh. Something that Kat doesn't have. She always cakes on the makeup, and I can't stand that. What? But I'm really on Okay. And Janelle's okay. got this great body. Just put a smile on my face right away. Mm -hmm. Now, Janelle, first dates, obviously, when you're on a first date, blind date situation, can be really awkward. What was it you did to break the ice? Speaking of ice, we actually went ice skating. Right when he picked me up, um, he was actually, uh, he used to play ice hockey for our team, and I've never been ice skating before. So he helped me keep balance. I got to grab onto him, which was all good. Curtis, Get a nice, nice body. Move. Ice skating and holding and all of that. But I'm curious, you know, who paid for the date? He took care of everything. No 50-50. I was never taking care of him. You never do that for me. What is wrong? What are you I never do that for me? No, you never pay for me. Curtis, we did hear earlier, Kathy said you had that 50-50 rule. Why is it you're paying everything for Janelle on the date? Because I know Janelle's not cheap, unlike Kathy. How do you know that? You don't even know her. Because Janelle, you know so first he of all, said the only thing you've all, ever bought him was a hot dog, and you offered it. No. no. Let me ask Janelle something about that was a problem earlier. We know that okay. Curtis has a best friend. She's a woman. Yes. If that was a situation and you were the girlfriend, Janelle, would that bother you? Not at all. I think it's perfectly normal and healthy to have a best friend opposite sex. I think she's just insecure. You wouldn't understand. You need so to now, have Jan a, Janelle, you did you ever understand? <laughs> I met her. Oh, you did? I was just going to ask you if you had a chance once. to meet her. You met her, I met her once. once. You were not her. in the situation, so shut up. Yeah! I think, right, just, just, Janelle, 
Tell us where you met her and describe her for us. We actually went out to eat at a cute little Italian restaurant where Stacy actually worked. And from ah, the- go figure. Yeah. He wants you around his best friend. Go I was happy. Figure. I was go happy. figure. Janelle, you were Janelle, you were the date. Did you feel threatened at all by Stacy's presence? Not at all. She's a sweetheart. I met her. We were really we hit it yeah, off okay. right away. We had a lot okay. to talk about. She just was just a really situation. great girl. It's all in her head. Just all right, Curtis. Just be in the situation. Just be in Let the me situation. find out from Curtis at this point in the date. Were you having a good time yet, or what was going on? I was having a great time. In fact, I was having more fun with her than I've had with Kathy for a while. <laughs> Dip this atmosphere. So, Janelle, That's you guys were uh, obviously around a lot of anything. people during dinner and stuff, being at, his, at Stacey's mm -hmm. workplace. Any chance of alone time? Yeah, actually, afterwards, we went to the beach. We took a nice walk. We went up to the tower, and we, had, we engaged in a nice conversation. We got to know each other a little bit more. So a quiet moment there. And um, actually, the police came and high-beamed us and told us that it was beach property, county property, so we had to leave. But otherwise, we probably would have stayed a lot longer. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. Oh, really? Curtis, you didn't. I'm just thinking if the cops don't come by and chase you away, you might have hung out there a little bit longer. Would have things gotten more romantic? Are you disappointed that it didn't like Kathy's got? I was hoping she'd be a little more affectionate. <laughs> but, um... Now, Janelle, does this mean that you weren't interested in the guy? You weren't interested in Curtis mm, or what? Absolutely not. Not all. I don't need lap dances and pineapples to impress my guy Thank or for you. a guy to impress me. more class than that and I think it's more important to build a friendship foundation we got we had a great time we got he respected me I respected him and that was all that was important mm -hmm. and then Curtis <laughs> Curtis after the beach did you guys call it a night was that the end of the date or what yeah it was getting kind of late so I took her home and just gave her a quick hug and that was his mom wanted he didn't home. he didn't call it too no. he didn't call it too much of a night because he was over at my house right after the date so thank you very much he was over at your house he was over at my house okay, right after just the date gonna... with a rose oh <laughs> Curtis's best friend Stacy, who's backstage. Now, Stacy, you had a chance to meet Janelle. What is your opinion of her versus you know. Kathy? You know, I like Janelle a lot. We hit it off, and like I, I think that Curtis should change of heart. I mean, Kathy, she, she got a big problem with jealousy and insecurity. Oh. So she just, I love Janelle. She's so much fun. All right, well, there you got it from uh, Curtis's friend <laughs> Stacy. We'll After see what they day. decide, though. Will Curtis listen to his best friend? We're gonna find that out next. So stay tuned. <laughs> Kathy came here today because they've been making war a lot more often than they've been making love in their relationship. But Kathy believed that in spite of her temper, that nobody would treat her man Curtis better than she could. So let's see if she was right. Kathy, you said you wanted a man that was going to shower you with romance so that actually Curtis would learn a lesson here. There you were with Daniel. You had a great date with him and all the romance and more. What's your decision? Well, um... I think about it, and Curtis has been there for me when I was sick, and he took care of me, and he was always there when I was down, and um, to pick me up. And this wonderful day with Daniel was, was just, it was the bomb, it was romantic, and I hope that you will be able to be just as romantic, so I'm staying together. So, Kathy says stay together. Daniel, sorry things didn't work out for you. Sorry. Uh, Curtis, Kathy wants to stay together. She said that nobody's going to be better a girlfriend than her. So there you were with Janelle. You guys had a really good date. It was a little bit different. What do you say? Well, um, Kathy and I have been through a lot, but we've also been arguing a lot lately, so I've chose change of heart. Change of heart. Janelle, i got to go to you. Janelle, does that work for you? Well, I don't think it's cool that Curtis went to see her after our date, so I'm going to have to pass. So you say no. Okay, so Curtis, your girlfriend doesn't, well, wanted to stay, but you said no. Now Janelle, your date says no. So that's the, uh, but you know, we, we still have Stacy backstage. In fact, let's go to Stacy. Stacy, you just saw what happened here. He's alone now. Would you go out with him under these circumstances? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dude, three strikes, you're out of here, I guess. Obviously, Kathy, somebody more suited for you in the future, and hopefully for you, Curtis, just as well. All right, that is our show for today. Thanks to Kathy and Curtis, also to Daniel and Janelle. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart.